I'm Ellis Button from the YouTube channel Away Days. Why do you film yourself during football matches? How much of the match do you film? Do you even like football? Look at that Peckham show with the PeckhamPlex.com sponsorship. Do you ruin the atmosphere? Do you respect the people around you? Oh, Peckham Tops! It's wonderful! I asked all these questions and more as I followed Ellis around on one of his adventures. I'm a Leeds fan and nothing outside of Leeds really concerns me other than non I love non-league. I'll always try and support it where I can basically. In non-league it's a little bit different. They actually have the goals the opposite way around and the objective is to hit the ball at the back of the net. We're like two hours early. For what reason we need to be two hours early I'm not sure. He's just really passionate about small stands. The France shirt, the USA shirt. Look at that Peckham shirt with the PeckhamPlex.com sponsorship. All these trophies. Have you got any smalls left for the, the what, Dennis to Menace? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Perfect. Okay, when you do wear your t shirt, please take a picture so that we can actually put it in the program and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Do you consider what you do a difficult job? It's weird because there's people that do much harder jobs, right? It's tough because there's a lot of stresses in it. I left the house at 8 a.m. today. I'll get home at like 1 a.m. Um, but like I came to watch football, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, whereas yeah. there's people out there that do 12 hour shifts. There's some, some backlash and some influencers making football blogs recently. I think it's because I come from a working class family that like, what we do is mental. Yeah. Like, how is this a job? Yeah. So I think that the hardship comes from like knowing you get to do this. You see online a lot, people say if they catch you vlogging, not just you they say this to, but to vloggers, if they catch you vlogging, they'll do such and such a yeah, thing. Yeah, you get attacked. So I want to put you in that situation. No, it's gone wide past the post, but we'll have more when it happens. Excuse me, I'm on your camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you want me to do you if, you don't, if you don't get that camera off me right now, I'm going to shove it so far down your throat, you'll be able to vlog your intestines. What is your dislike towards me? I just don't like you. Okay. I don't want to be on no videos. That's, that's fine. Are you here by yourself? Yeah. If we swap space, you'll be in front of me. And no, then but I you're still going to be filming. What about, what about Julie? She don't want to be on... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't feel like I, I could take someone coming up to me. I could, because it's happened before. But I feel like it's usually just some sort of, like, they've had a bad day. Have you ever been scared, though, at a game filming? First England World Cup game I did, I was scared because of stuff I'd seen on Twitter about if I was out there. But then everyone was sound. Yeah. As long as we're respectful, yeah. then hopefully we'll get it back. Yeah, don't well. fake reactions, don't fake narratives that haven't happened, don't be too loud, don't scream at things. One of the most important things about non-league football is the community side of things. The family atmosphere, huge in non-league. That's what you're going to get down there. You won't get that in the Prem, you won't get that in the Championship. You can't even shake the players' hands there. At half-time, sometimes the fans are on the pitch playing in goal. That's how close it is here. You know those Diet Cokes? Yes. Diet Coke for you, Diet Coke for you, Diet Coke for me. Yeah. Well, Brian took care of it and he got me a hot chocolate as well. Ooh. Did he? Yeah. See, that's what we see at a club like this. That would have cost us three Diet Cokes and a hot chocolate, about 12 quid at Ella Football League Stadium. So this is just... Someone's just done a Rabona over there at 2-0 down. Why is that? <laughs> I was born and raised in Florida. I live in New York now. Don't mind the hooligans in the background. Yeah. Do you support a Premier League team? 
Uh, when I was in fourth grade, the Premier League became a nationally televised thing in the mm-hmm. U.S., so everybody had to pick a team. And they were picking, like, Manchester United and Liverpool and everything. There was a team that had just survived relegation for the past few seasons at that point. So I picked Sunderland. Fair play to you, though. <laughs> I was wondering then, what's he going to have picked? <laughs> yeah. It was Sunderland. It's a really cool, unique experience for me to just be exposed to it, honestly. Mm. I, I know it's so regular in life here, but for me, it's just fascinating. What do you make of the people? I am from such a different part of the world. People watching is just tremendous. The, the community is kind of like the minor league baseball a little bit, where it's a lot about coming together with yeah. your friends and have a beer with the guy down the street. If I lived here, I feel like I'd spend a lot more time here than I would at yeah. massive matches. One, it's five pounds. I've got a beer. i got a jersey for 35 pounds 40 bucks great it's fantastic I didn't mean to beat you to it then by the way I saw you then I thought he was going to win very late but I'm back in Manchester and I love to peck him so so much so much so that I'm wondering when will I see you again